He was able to take his EBZ. Now we're going into PvP. Yeah, three mirror matches in a row. Who would have thought? Get to see all three of them. Yep. Here we have Super here for MVP. Good he record is, against Protoss. Yeah, two and one so far. He has cheese, like you said before, but so has Creator, his opponent. Yep, and so here's here. a shot of him. He looks a lot less evil with the uh, very, very white uniforms that they have now. Yeah, but don't let that deceive you. He's 3-1 against Protoss. He's also only dropped a single map. He's played four games. And yep. uh, one of the earliest games we had in this year of Pro League, or this season of Pro League, was uh, where he cheesy cannon rushed against Yongwan Yunsu. Yes. Was a cool game to watch. We were very taken aback because Creator's not usually the player to do something like that, but it was very cool to see him change up his style. Yeah. And we're going into Habitation Station as our map, so the gold base will likely not come into play because it's just so difficult to take that in a PvP. Taking a third base in general in PvP is extremely difficult. You're always going to want to take the, the third base that's far away from your opponent, unless you get massively ahead one way or another, um, which with how Creator plays, he's very defensive. I don't think he's going to be the one to get ahead if it even happens. We could see one or two of these players be aggressive, though, early on. It's a two-player map. Rush distance is pretty short. I've got a, a pretty big feeling that Super is going to be the one who puts on aggression first, um, one way or another, whether it's blink stalkers or just three gateway pressure or just uh, stalker pressure off the two gates to punish, you know, creators. Normal sentry expand style that he likes to show us. I can see it as well. This match is very volatile. We're going to have to see what both these players have done, uh, will do. They have done very different styles here in PvP so far. But we're going to have to wait and see. Yep, we certainly will. The map. Habitation Station is loaded. The players are ready. Let's go into game three to find out which one of these two teams is going to take a lead. SK Telecom. Up here in the top right, the red Protoss in our PvP, representing MVP. This is Super. Used to be known as Vampire. And his opponent for the Prime team in the top left in blue. It's Creator. This is a, a matchup where pretty much anything goes. There's so many... <laughs> They just keep finding these these pictures of Kanata and just they keep being put on camera. So good. Um, he's gonna go down here the very fast scout creator that is. Oh, they both are, which is kind of funny. But uh, yeah, as I was saying before, this this matchup anything goes. It's the matchup I feel like. If I had if I had to, if I had to say, I mean, my personal opinion, I would say that this is the matchup where the most builders are possible. Like there's so many different builds you can do in PvP that are standard and doable and that's why scouting is really important. That's why the Mothership Core is an important scouting tool. Oh, wow. He actually got it. Brennan, he got the... Oh! Will he get both? Oh, my God. We're going to have a gasless PvP, Brendan. Oh, my God. They both oh. have double gas stolen their opponents. So we're going to have a gasless PvP. When I saw the scout go, I was like, nah, I don't think he's going to try to go for that. That's only what I do on the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the responses here. Uh, for for Creator, he actually immediately pulls probes off. He's really on top of how important this gas is, whereas Super is more content to just get a better mineral income and then wait for his zealot to do the work. Yeah. I Creator actually like Creator's response. What do you, what do you think? I... I like it. I think it's. I think it's pretty good. He's only pulled four probes. It's going to affect his minerals, of course. But in the early game here, he's not going to need it as much. And if he can get that gas, it's very, very important. Um, I think that's a better thing for him to do here. He adds another probe and another probe here. Six probes currently attacking this guy. He's going to get it right away. A lot faster than Super will. That's for sure. Yeah, way faster. Um, and the zealot that comes out here is still not even ready. So I'm liking Creator's position way more right now because gas is way more important than minerals in general, but especially in Protoss versus Protoss. He could actually just... And the thing is, so he could actually just go for a warp gate timing 
And Super is just trying to make Zealots here, double Zealots to get Zealot count out, but what if Creator hits him with a bunch of Stalkers and, a, and four Warp Gates, or even just three Warp Gates, he's gonna be able to kite those Zealots. And Creator knows that those two gases are not up because he has them, like he can yeah. see it, he has vision. And it's going to be so long. I mean, the Zealot has been attacking for a bit, but Creator's had, had his gas for a long time now, and now finally adding those probes on to try to get this down as fast as possible. Even Super knows what could be coming towards him at this point, and he's got to do this. I mean, Creator also knowing that he needs that second gas as well, adding some more probes. Did... No, no, he didn't still No, he didn't get it. Okay. He definitely was around to try for it, though. That would have been really annoying. Decent try. It's actually not chrono boosting his uh, warp gate research. And, you know, if you look at the gases here, how much gas has he, is he ahead? He's about 150 gas ahead of his opponent. So, is that enough to commit? For a lot of people, I think they would say yes, but it's creator. He's usually not the attacker, he's usually the defender. Yeah, that is true. But look at this. I mean, super throwing down a Nexus here. If he gets it up and he gets that Mothership Core out, which is going to be delayed, by the way, by a lot, by all this gas, of course. Um, you know, he could probably defend here. Uh, yeah, Creator where, needs to identify what's happening, first of all. He saw the Nexus Ray with the probe. Yeah, and he's going to go into three gates. I like this because I was starting to get concerned that Creator was just going to play Creator style and never attack, yeah. and that's not good in this type of situation. Oh, you could actually just keep his Zealot alive and kite with the Stalker only here. And he's just, he's just gonna do that a little bit. Tanks with the Zealot for just a second. Um, needs a really good micro here. When the second Stalker arrives, that's when things are gonna get hairy. Oh, one more shot on that Zealot will kill it. Decent micro out of both these guys saving their Zealots. I don't know about this for, uh, for Super Brendan. I really feel like he's not valued gas as highly as he should have, and he's in a lot of trouble. He does get that second Stalker out, but these warp ins are yep. going to hit so soon. I mean, look at the warp gate research for Super. It's way, way behind. It's uh, way behind, but I mean, decent uh, unit control right now is actually winning this micro battle, and he's going to be able to start picking away at these pylons. Could delay it a little bit, but here's the warp and three warp stalkers. I mean, I think Creator was even just trying to bait him out here to stay around. No, uh, no Mothership Core. Looks like the Sentry just finished, if I'm not mistaken. Or either that it was just started, something changed on the production tab. As it is, it doesn't look like he has one. He's not using one. And the Mothership Core giving vision here. The next round of warp is going to be really, really difficult for Super to deal with. But he will maybe have that Sentry for a Force Field. He's even starting a Stargate right now. That's pretty That's pretty bold. That's incredibly bold. Look at this army of Creator. He was just able to warp out all these units so far. And Creator himself starting a Stargate here. Yep. Nexus will fall here. He gets the Zealot up there to get vision. Sentry wants to cut this army in half. He does do that. Bit of a mistake here, actually, by Creator to try to go up there like that. And he may lose his Mothership Core. Getting not out quite. to have health there, but it does not go down. He has a second Sentry here for another Force Field. Uh, you know, I feel like Creator's kind of messed this up a little bit. Uh, just trying just trying to attack up there a little bit haphazardly. Uh, he keeps the Mothership Core alive, which is really important. He does deny the Nexus. Worker count is in favor, though, of Super. And they're both going Oracles here, so this is going to be kind of funny. Yeah. This could actually do a bit of damage to Creator uh, if he has his Warpings down when that Oracle does does arrive to the base. Because right now he's not exactly sure what uh, Super is doing in his base. Uh, but he's going to find out very soon. Yep. But for now, he's going to be content to sit at the bottom of the ramp. I feel like if... Uh does any more warpins up front they need to be sentries to contain but not actually you know stalkers warping in further stalkers is not going to help them they're both going to see this at, at the exact middle of the map <laughs> well, as super this. did target it and Whoa. the fight goes down here time warp goes down as well coming down to the bottom of the ramp is super and creator has a lot more units here i guess he wanted to distract for this but a phoenix coming out for the oracle is going to eventually kill it and the army of uh, creator is just too big and he's also getting his own oracle kills over here trying to break up the ramp but the zealot and the sentry do block him more and more stalkers being warped in here can creator actually break through it may not matter if he kills all the probes stalkers coming back now to defend and gg look at creator in the booth he's so ecstatic that was a that was a pretty wonky game, man. That was uh, <laughs> that was wonky. That was wacky. Do not uh, do not try this at home. <laughs> no, please do not. But in the end, creator. Wow, what a what a game, man. That was a weird game. <laughs>
decorator. Nice ceremony. Prime finds himself one win away from taking a victory here in their very first round one match. Or round two, excuse me. They're set to, or the, the second day of round yeah. two matches, yeah. their very first one. Mm -hmm. One win away. <laughs> don't don't uh, put numbers in my face, I get really scared. 